I wanted to give a loose explanation of how it works and who are the parties involved when a home is sold. So first of all, let's say I'm selling my home. I have a buyer and he comes and he's wanting to buy. An agent has introduced him to me and the agent is the one that is between me and the buyer and he represents us both. Now, on top of that, there's an attorney and the attorney is called a transferring attorney and their job is to assist with all the legalities and all the paperwork when this process is happening. And all these people work together over a two to three month period in order to get all the paperwork in place so that this home can sell from me to the buyer. Now, bridging finance comes in during that two to three month period because it's a lengthy process and people don't wanna wait. I, as the seller, wouldn't want to wait for my money for three months and the agent might not want to wait on their commission from helping us with that sale. So Bridging Finance comes in, offers to finance some of the money in that time so that there nobody has to wait. I hope that that makes sense and that's a very loose explanation of how it works and kind of some of the people that are involved and then where Bridging Finance comes in. If you have any other questions, feel free to get in touch right away. Thank you. If you enjoyed that video, go ahead and subscribe below, give it a like, and feel free to share. We'll be putting out a lot of interesting content for you. Thank you.